Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10, build 15.055. That was released today in the fast ring, um, so um, this is pretty cool. It's um, both for PCs and for mobile. And of course, this is the latest build of Creators Update on March 10th, 2017. So uh, we're going to take a quick look and uh, have a few observations for this uh, version. So, okay, <clears throat> we didn't have a build this week uh, or earlier because there were some apparent issues and they had a lot of, uh, they, they needed to check out a lot of the data before they could release it. But now, today, of course, it was time. Another Friday release, which is uh, interesting because, you know, uh, they try not to release them on Fridays, but we've had, like, many Friday releases recently. So, download, of course, went well, went very fast. Uh, I thought it was very fast. Install was... I, I felt the install was longer than usual, but um, I don't know. Maybe it's because I was, like, watching over it all the time. But the install did feel a little longer than usual. But it eventually came through, so I installed it, of course, on two Insider machines here, both the own version and the Pro version, basically. And so uh, this, of course, came through uh, Windows Update. So <clears throat> download was okay, went well, no problems. Install went well, no issues at all, no problems at all, built on the home and Pro computers, and. What is different this time is that both computers were greeted to this welcome screen. Welcome to the Windows 10 Creators Update. A lot of new features and you can see what's new. And there's a Get Office 365 and Open Store. So uh, interesting to see that uh, now this appeared on both of my machines. Uh, so I would guess probably everybody's seen this one uh, appear at this time. Um, so, you are waiting for what's new in this build, you want to know what's new in the features, absolutely nothing. Uh, nothing that I can see of, and pretty much everybody does, don't see anything special here. It's bug fixes time, and it's really what we think is going to happen, uh, you know, even if we have still one or two more builds, it will be bug fixes time, mainly, uh, because it's that time now. So. What is interesting here, of course, uh, we have the uh, on the bottom right still a watermark. So here you see it, my Windows 10 Pro. You see it, evaluation copy build 15055, redstone 2. And there's something interesting. If you look at the Windows version number, well, this is the first version that displays 1703. So that means we're at the creator's update pretty much. Uh, still a few things missing, but you know, a few bug fixes, but it's there. We have now finally changed into new version of 1703. So basically, uh, that means, you know, not many more builds left before we get the official thing. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. And it's going to be interesting to see if there's anything, uh, you know, when, when we actually get it. But I, I would expect that in a week or two, we're probably going to be there. Uh, so uh, that's going to be something to really check for. So, of course, this build being still a insider build with Watermark has a uh, evaluation copy that expires, as usually <clears throat> insider builds do. Okay. Uh, so, like I said, no new features, really. But there's a few things you need to know in the bug fixes and um, that uh, is what we're going to talk about. So there's a lot of things that actually have been fixed. So uh, there's no more errors if you have Symantec Norton Antivirus. They have a lot of uh, fixes including that fix for that uh, update to this build at 71% and it rolls back to previous builds, stuff like that. This is over. Uh, they fixed issues with Microsoft Edge unexpectedly attempting to download certain web pages rather than navigating to them. So there's a uh, different little thing, things that um, are <coughs> really um, being tweaked here. So a ton of fixes, really a ton of fixes. And um, so a lot of people and a lot of uh, things have been happening. And uh, that's very, very, very 
interesting and we see that the insiders are really pulling through with all the the, the bugs in here um f for me this is a very stable build i mean this has been used uh intensively since about uh 2 30 p.m this afternoon to tonight and uh, you know it's it's been rolling on both machines as my main machines no issues no problems no bugs no blue screens haven't seen anything go wrong so this is good news because uh, you know I mean we have to really get these builds working well if we want them to really really work correctly that's for sure so um, Apart from that, there's a few. There's still a few bugs. You know, uh, there are known issues in here. There's quite a lot of known issues too. So you know, they're they're really playing playing and and fixing things because I gotta say, pretty uh, interesting, um, pretty interesting to see. Uh, there, there's still so many problems. Uh, there's still uh, the um, corrupted registry problem. If you did the workaround. You need to do it again in this build if you uh, have problems with the upgrade uh, for uh, the registry key. Um, there's also some PCs that may fail to update um, to uh, a, a higher build than 15,002 due to system PTE MISUSE error. Uh, there's some apps in games that may crash to, due to misconfiguration of the advertising ID. There's all sorts of little things in the bugs here that are there. Uh, there's a bug in this build that can cause a number of inbox apps to fail to launch, such as the store. If you run into this, you can reset the app. So uh, if you have app problems, reset the apps, it should work. Uh, there's also a bug where if you need to restart your PC due to a pending update, um, basically you might have a problem or an error or it doesn't the reminder might not pop up for a restart stuff like that so you know um, they uh, also fixed some things that made other things crash including the universal windows platform app stuff there's still the gaming issues where games do not appear full screen or will minimize to the taskbar stuff like that uh, so you know there's a lot of things and you know I'm not talking about everything yet and there's still an edge uh, issue with uh, if you want to go into F12 for the dev mode, uh, it might crash. So, you know, it's really not a perfect build. There's still some issues. Um, of course, one of the things that is interesting is that now we have uh, build uh, 15048 issued as a um, slow build ring. So that means you can really, really try to get as close to this build as possible uh, if you aren't uh, weren't able to upgrade from the past few builds a lot of people um, been telling me they had problems upgrading to the last few builds so maybe you can try it out and um, I didn't check to see and let's check it out here um, were there any release of the image files yet uh, Windows Insider ISO download so let's check it out here the ISO download uh, for Windows Insider um, we'll check it out <coughs> if it's available and not at the correct page here we need to download so let's just go back I should have loaded this before Windows Insider ISO download Let's just do it here. Okay, here we go. Download Windows Disk then Disk Image. Um, here we go. Here's a preview. Okay, there's a uh, 15.042 here uh, for Windows 10. Uh, let's check it out here if uh, there's anything else. I think there's. I think it's. There's still yet not the uh, 15.04. Uh, eight image file available. There's still that. Uh, you, there's the. They've been at the, uh, accepted as the slow ring, but I believe they're still uh, at uh, the ISO of 15042. So um, apart from that, I've had no issues, no problems. Runs fast. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to what is creators update. I'm I'm waiting for the 
watermark to disappear to really do a full review of the creators update and what's uh, changed since anniversary update um, if you're in the insider channel you will also be getting tons of videos of still will continue to compare uh, different uh, you know options in the settings menu from uh, anniversary update to this build of course checking out what's changed or not so it's really interesting if you uh, really want to see the changes done in uh, Windows 10 so check it out very stable seems to be uh, that that's really the, the main uh, the main idea here pretty much everybody telling me that they are very very stable builds working really really well so that means that uh, we're getting there and that uh, you know it's uh, it sounds good so uh, latest build no new features we are at version 1703 for the first time and uh, everything going well if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know and hope that you enjoy our videos thank you for watching